Well, you take a Lagrangian that can describe the motion of a one-dimensional entity through space-time. And you take that two-dimensional Lagrangian and within it there's a field, X, that maps the world sheet of the string into the ambient space-time. And the action that describes this motion is basically the area of the world sheet using the pullback metric from the ambient space-time to the world sheet of the string. And then by using, of course, the standard sum over paths approach to quantum mechanics developed by Richard Feynman, we can work out correlation functions in this two-dimensional field theory. And those, in principle, would be the observables that describe the scattering amplitudes of strings in string theory. How is that? What is stuff made of? You know, what are the basic fundamental ingredients inside of all of the matter that we encounter in the world around us? If you take any piece of matter, say a block of wood, if you cut it in half, cut that remaining piece in half again and keep on cutting ever smaller, we all pretty much know that you get to molecules and then you get to atoms, which make up molecules, and we also know that the atoms are made of finer constituents, electrons that are in these quantum orbits, these quantum clouds around the nucleus, which itself has particles, protons and neutrons. And inside the protons and neutrons, we found that there are even smaller particles, quarks. String theory comes along and challenges that. It says that those little tiny dot particles that we envisioned as being the basic ingredients, there's something else further inside of them look deeply inside an electron, deeply inside a quark, string theory posits, hypothesizes, that you'll see a little tiny string-like filament of vibrating energy, like a string on a violin. This little tiny string can vibrate. And one vibration will say be an electron. A different kind of vibration, a different note, to use the musical analogy, would be an electron, a quark or a neutrino. So in that way, all the different kinds of particles arise from the different notes that this hypothetical entity called the string can play. Everything, in a sense, is a kind of cosmic symphony. All the particles of the world are just the notes that this ingredient, if it exists, we don't know that it does, that this little tiny string can play. <laughs>